Submarines have long been a symbol of military might and strategic advantage on the high seas. They are designed to operate underwater, undetected, and carry out a range of missions, including surveillance, intelligence gathering, and offensive operations. Nuclear submarines and conventional submarines are differentiated by their power and propulsion systems, leading to varying capabilities and operational effectiveness. A nuclear submarine, as the name suggests, is powered by a nuclear reactor that generates heat, which is then converted into mechanical energy to propel the submarine. This virtually limitless power source allows nuclear submarines to remain submerged for extended durations, sometimes even months, without the need to surface. Conventional submarines, on the other hand, rely on diesel-electric engines for propulsion. They are equipped with diesel engines that provide power on the surface and charge the submarine's batteries. While conventional submarines primarily use batteries for underwater propulsion, their range and submerged duration aren't entirely limited by battery life. They can utilize snorkel masts to draw in air and run their diesel engines intermittently while submerged, partially recharging the batteries and extending their underwater time. However, frequent use of the snorkel reduces stealth and depth capabilities. When it comes to the stealth capability, each subs have a different things to compare. Despite the nuclear submarines have a long submerged period, it doesn't mean they stealthier than the conventional. Diesel electric submarines are generally quieter when operating on battery power than nuclear submarines. This is because nuclear submarines have pumps and other machinery constantly running to keep the reactor cool, even when they are not moving. However, diesel-electric submarines must eventually surface or snorkel to recharge their batteries, which can make them noisy. The cost of constructing, operating, and maintaining nuclear submarines is significantly higher than that of conventional submarines. The complex nuclear propulsion systems and the infrastructure required to support them contribute to the higher costs. Additionally, the training and expertise needed for nuclear operations involves substantial investment. Conventional submarines, on the other hand, are generally more affordable to build and maintain. Their simpler propulsion systems and lower operational demands make them the preferred option for many nations with limited resources or operational requirements. Both nuclear submarines and conventional submarines play vital roles in modern naval warfare each fulfilling specific missions and operating in different environments. Nuclear submarines excel in strategic deterrence, long-range operations, and extended endurance, while conventional submarines are well-suited for coastal defense, regional operations, and intelligence gathering. That's for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you.